Hello and good evening. Today, what do kids find more entertaining? Kicking the ball outside while the sun is nice and warm? Or do they prefer being stuck in a room, in front of a television, playing video games? As parents, I think we know the answer to that question. But are video games truly to blame? For our children falling behind in school, not doing as well as they did before? No. On the contrary. Video games can actually help our children improve skills, improve their health, and have a little fun. It is surprising, I know. But there have been many studies to prove that video games are the worst thing for our children. There are a couple of cases where video games have led to violence or disruptive behavior in class, but the majority of the time that's not the truth. Sales of violent video games or video games in general has quadrupled since 1995. But that doesn't mean that the murder, the juvenile murders have risen as well. According to Procon.org, the murders actually fell to a to 71.9 percent, and arrests declined to 49.3 percent for juveniles. Now, that doesn't really coincide with video games having a reason to do with all that. There actually hasn't been a link between video violent video games and violent behavior in children. The thing is that children can actually tell the difference between fantasy and reality, and that prevents them from actually performing that type of anger towards parents or friends. So video, violent video games are not the pl blame for that. Kurt Squire, the author of Video Games and Learning, showed that violent video games are not the most popular are actually the sports games like Madden, FIFA, all those. We Fit sell a lot more than Halo, all the Halo games put together. Now, take that in mind when you think that your child is being disruptive due to violent video games. That's not the truth. Health comes into play with video games. I really don't know how that happens, but studies have shown that video games can actually help reduce stress and depression. But how does a child end up with stress or depression at a young age? Sitting in a classroom for six hours, Monday through Friday, not being able to do what they want, having to listen to a teacher talk about something that happened millions of years ago and having to come home and recall all that information to do their homework. That's stressful. Video games actually provide an ease to that stressfulness. By how, you may ask? Well, say first person shooters, you, it's basically you walking around in a abandoned city where you are the only survivor and have to get across the to find the antidote. Take that for example. You are in that game. You are living a whole nother life from the one you are in reality. That takes your mind off of plenty of things. Same with pain relief. It shows video games actually help people with pain. There's 10 different emotions that one can experience according to Dr. Jane McGonagall from the Huffington Post says that joy, belief, surprise, pride, curiosity, excitement, awe, and wonder are all experienced while playing video games. That is unbelievable to know that all those emotions can be experienced with just playing a video game. Mr. James Paul G, author of What Video Games Have to Teach Us About Learning and Literacy, wrote, and I quote, the virtual world is constructed in such a way 
that learners learn not only about the domain, but about themselves and their current and potential capacities. The children are finding themselves within these games. They can see what their strengths are and what their weaknesses are. Now, in the real world, you can do that as well, but it's easier for them to do it in video games because they get many more chances than they do in the real world. That, as a parent, I think is worth letting the kids play video games for the reason that they are able to find themselves, at least a partial of themselves. But learning from the mistakes made in video games can actually help them make better decisions in real life. According to Mr. G, the Week magazine also wrote that video games help you become happy in old age. As parents, we don't really think video games can help, but in reality, they can. And I believe that children should be able to play video games at least a, a sufficient enough time for them to actually feel better. Let them play once in a while, but not restrict them completely. Thank you for watching.